Hey, what's going on? This is Jay from JHP Video Tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to fix perspective distortion and or vertical, you know, alignment and things like that. And as you can see, this image was taken by somebody leaning out of a truck at a horrendous angle. So that's why the verticals are so off. And, you know, basically, I need to fix this because it's terrible. So the first thing I'm going to do with something like this I'm just going to do a, a Command J on the background layer and that's going to duplicate the layer. So now I have a duplicate layer that I'm working on. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to transform this. And the shortcut for that is Command T or Control T on a Windows machine. But I'm just going to show you here. It's under Edit and you just go to Transform right here. Free Transform. And if you want to just transform stuff in a particular way, you can just select which way you want. But I prefer the Free Transform and then you can do pretty much anything. So in any event, the first thing I'm going to do, notice how you have these handles here on the corners and in the middle, and you can click and drag these handles to change, you know, the size of the image, and you can stretch it and things like that. It's pretty cool. But if you hold control down or command on a Mac, you can click and drag one point at a time. And that is really cool. Very, very powerful. So you can imagine how you can fix some problems pretty easily with that. But the first thing I want to do is I want to rotate this image. So let me drag a guide out. And I'm just going to click and drag a guide. And you might not have these rulers here on the left. These are rulers, these numbers here. And if you want to see those, if you don't have them visible, you simply just go to View and select this Rulers option here. Command-R is the shortcut for that. So that will get you the ruler set up. <clears throat> Now that I have a guide out there, I'm just going to click and drag to rotate my image. And notice when you go outside of the corner, it turns into that little, you know, rotate arrow. And now you can, I can use the guide to get my vertical straight. So I'll just eyeball it here, you know, rough, get it pretty close, something like that. Looks pretty good. Right about there. So I'll just settle for that. And now while I have it here, I can grab some of these points and fix the image. So check this out. I can bring this down and correct the verticals a little bit. And then I can grab this corner and bring it up. So I'm not losing necessarily too much of the image. Well, that's that's really screwing things up. So I'm just going to pull that back down. Hang on. I want to keep the vertical straight. So something like that. All right, good. Now I'm going to drag this out like that to get a little more of the realistic realisticness back <laughs> I know that's not a word but this is this is what you do with this tool and it's unbelievable how powerful it is so you just work it and again you know it's like everything else in Photoshop it takes practice and you know you ha kinda have to figure out like what's gonna happen before you know like just by playing with it you can kinda figure out where the distortion is going to be and how far you can go before it looks like crap. But I can't really go too much further. And as you can see by the skew of this thing, I went pretty far. So I'm just going to drag the bottom down a little bit here. Something like that. And then I'm just going to drag this side to the left and see what happens. Just to make it a little bit fatter. There we go. Something like that. And then I'm just going to drag up. There we go, just so I don't have to worry about cropping it, cropping any of that stuff. And I'm just going to drag this over. There we go, something like that. Just so I don't have to worry about fixing all that stuff in the sky. There we go. Now I'll drag down just a little bit to bring a little bit of that length back. Alright, now this is a, a very radical adjustment here, I understand. But it's going to look cool, trust me. Alright, so I'm, now I'm going to hit Enter. And it's going to apply that transformation. And then I'm going to zoom in to 100% so you can see what it did. All right. So I want to get rid of that guide, though. That guide's bothering me. So let me go to View. And I'm going to go to Clear Guides. See that? I'm just going to click that. And there's the guide. It's gone. So let me now zoom in to 100%. And let's take a look at what Photoshop did. I'm just going to hold the space bar down. And the hand comes up. And now I can just click and drag. And it looks pretty good. And there's a little noise in the sky, but, I mean, as far as the amount of distortion that went on, the image looks really, really good. And that's why Photoshop is amazing. So now this is what we're looking at. <clears throat> Our verticals are vertical. So let me do a before and after. You're not going to believe this. Ready? Before. 
after. Now that's a huge improvement. And we could still do a little more. So let me go into Edit, Transform, and let me go to Warp. And let's see what we can do at Warp here. Looks like we got a little bit of funky stuff going on still here and there. So if we drag this corner, notice how Warp moves. Warp gives you more control based on a quadrant type scenario. So you can manipulate particular quadrants a little bit and it helps it helps a lot with trying to remove the bow if you have like a bow or a belly in something warp works great we use this a lot for artist stuff like when we shoot our artist work that it comes in and a lot of times the canvas is distorted and stuff and you know what are you gonna do you know the canvas is warped so you have to fix it somehow and this is the easiest way to fix it you can fix a warped canvas so easy with this tool so I'm just I'm just checking out my verticals here and making sure everything looks okay. Everything looks pretty good. I'm just going to drag this bottom point a little bit over to the left. Something like that. All right. Verticals are looking good. This vertical right here looks a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to drag a guide out and take a look at it. Yeah, that's definitely crooked. So check this out. See this point right here? I'm just going to click this point and drag it. See that? how I can kind of isolate this one area pretty cool alright so that vertical is straight let me drag another guide out just look at this main vertical here and that's pretty close too it's a little bit off so let me just drag this point here in a touch something like that there we go alright so then I'm just gonna hit enter to apply this and this, did, this has a little bit more math involved, so it takes just a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to go to View, and I'm going to go to Clear Guides. Get rid of those. And then I'll zoom in here to 50%. Let me just go to 50%, and then I'll hit F to go to full screen mode. Hit F again. And, you know, that's pretty much what we're looking at. And here's a before and an after. So, as you can see, the, the transform tool and the warp tool are incredibly powerful. And that's just one way to, you know, transform your image. There's, you could, there's many other ways you can do it. You, have, you can go to filter and you can go to lens correction. That's one way you can manipulate your image. And that's an easy way to fix perspective distortion as well. So, Photoshop is just amazing and there's so many different ways to do things. I just wanted to make you aware of that and and this is one of the easiest ways to fix perspective distortion i use it all the time for those cool church shots and stuff so all right guys take care i hope you got something out of this and don't forget to check out jhpvideotutorials.com